we really have to say these are low risk patients. Someone comes in with a three centimeter tumor that's uh, low grade, you know, has a Nottingham of like four, you know, a K67 of 5%, ER like 100%, PR 90%. You know, even though the tumor is three centimeters, even though the woman is premenopausal, that woman doesn't need a genomic test and she basically could do fine on hormonal therapy. That's the challenge of this business right now. I think that that's the first challenge. The second challenge I think is trying to find these predictors for uh, triple negative breast cancer. You know, because we really want to identify a group of people who will do really well with no therapy, aren't going to be a lot, or people who need additional therapies like immunotherapy. I mean, you know, the issue is the big issue now with triple negative breast cancer is going to be who needs immunotherapy and who doesn't. And we have PD1 testing, but I think we're going to need something a little bit beyond that in the triple negative space to help us out. I think those are the big challenges for us going forward.